Camera. Good light. I mean, you know, 
Or, yeah. <laughs> In a sort of darkish way. I have to keep relocating to try and get it. <laughs>
I've never really been racked in the I've been hit from the side of the town. That was a good one. Yeah. He's fighting single sword. So he's, she's got a shield and he's got a Oh, broke your helmet. Yes, I need to retire. Oh my I thought goodness. I'd come over and see this gentleman and he would ask. Did he? No. Did he really throw a blow? Yeah. 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 Fire it out. Rip the rivet out. Or yeah. the, no, it's a screw. Yeah. Yeah. You just had the screw come loose. And nothing is broken. Are you saying it's too loose? Yes, ma'am. And you're, you're out here fighting, your oh, screw must be loose. Yeah. yeah. You're not okay, wow. So, so, um, there are the two areas on the body. The first one is the, you know, the knees and below, uh -huh. and the wrist and below. Oh, no, okay, don't another legal target. Yeah, yeah. Okay? 
you know, it's almost everybody has some form of solid yeah. hair protection that would not. Go ahead. Sorry, you keep that. You know, because we don't want. Yeah, you're out of the exactly. This is fun. You know, so, so, see, he's got basket belt on. I mean, a uh, mitten belt on yeah, his hand. Yeah, yeah. That's to protect his hand. That way he can have his hand there. Then, I want everybody else, he's got a, the, the guy next to him in the Roman army, has a paste basket hilt. He has a solid plastic basket yeah. and he has a solid metal basket They're all just hand protection. There's no specific one way or the other. You'll notice that everybody has different styles of armor on. I'm coming down with you too. The convention is, is that no matter what you're wearing in real life, uh -huh. you would be a Norman knight in our field. So you would have a full, full chain, male outfit, no, no. Okay. with a conical helmet, with a little laser bar. Yeah. So that means that anything that comes in, oh, got me. something oh, into the face, I got lucky. Yeah. You kind of in the face. Yeah. It was killing more yeah. because yeah. So you, you don't have, have, have a protection there. Yeah. Yeah. It would come in and do some damage yeah. to your cheeks and yeah. lift, you know, ruin your day, even if it didn't kill you. Yeah. So, which one? A lot of a, well, generally, a lot of people make their own stuff. But um, a helmet like the one he's wearing yeah. without the chain. Nope. It can be anywhere from three hundred to eight hundred dollars, depending upon what it's made out of. And, or, you know, it could be stainless steel, it could be yeah. steel, it could be uh, with with or without brass it could have a different shaped nose, it could have other at the oven tail, that's probably another three or five hundred dollars for the male because right. it might be welded or it might yeah. be riveted. The, the good thing about the sport though is if you go to groups like this, usually you can find enough loaner gear to get you started because you want to learn what you like before yeah. you trip before you invest like that. And if you come earlier in the evenings on Monday, you can go over and get the loaner gear, throw it across the street, and then bring it over and you can start to try it on it. Just try it out. Yeah. And I promise you won't want fun yourself, but you won't enjoy it. It's no fun to whack the dude who's just breaking yeah, away. Yeah, exactly. Ah, you know. The guy goes home and is like, that sucks. <laughs> that's not, I'm just a freaking tent thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like a pinata. Exactly. Wow. So, so cool. But it's a lot of fun. And you can see he's left handed. Oh, so right. that'll be interesting. It's huge. Well, because for a right handed person, yeah. when you're left handed, yeah. so I normally fight like right handed people. Yeah. Right yeah. This is this is your sword. Yeah. I'm normally here. Yeah. But now that that's your sword, right. all of this is all my So I'm yeah. now I'm fighting yeah. like now this. Now you're off stance. Yeah. Exactly, because I got yeah. it in my shield and my armpit. <laughs> So I can fight, you know, the way yeah. so you don't just automatically cream my hip, and which he does all the time. And you don't see it much here, but there's a wide variety of different weapons. You have people with like the large, great weapons, which would have been the claymores and such. You've got spears. We, we have them here. They're yeah. just not being used. Yeah. Well, right now we have three different fighting styles being shown. We have sword and shield, single sword sword and buckler, that really small yeah, shield. Small. Right? So there's sword and shield, sword and shield, I mean sword and shield, sword and shield, and then we have left handed, we have right handed. So um, it's a decent variety. We also have, you know, there are other pawns and stuff. People use little queuing spears and all kinds of stuff. So you can use axes, you can use maces, you can yeah. use all kinds of stuff. weapons and kind of stuff. If you're uh, interested, you can use pretty much anything historical. There are a few things you can't. We don't yeah. have any firearms. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> and, yeah. Um, actually, they do, we don't. The uh, rapier community, yeah. um, because all, everything that they do is to the touch. Okay. Pretty much, I mean, that's a killing blow to uh, me. Okay. Right? You know, for me, that barely touched me and I wouldn't count yeah. on this style of sport. Yeah. So, oh good. There's a sword. So we're basically hitting each other with a baseball bat. Yeah. You know? That's not um, a No, it's not. So and what? How, what's this made? Or, uh, this is an injection molded um, piece made, made for our for, sport. Okay, exactly. It's made by some people in our sport. Yeah, yeah. This has a thrusting tip on it, so you can. If like, you can, yeah, so you, uh, so a little. It's a got little. a little gift, yeah. but but you know you can you can imagine. 